Welcome back to my channels guys. If you're new here, my name is Allie and I upload beauty, bible, and lifestyle videos. For today's video you guys, I have a clean with me and if you like stuff like this, please hit that subscribe button. Alright you guys, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and get my mop water ready. I get, I like to use boiling hot water with a little bit of Revive um, all purpose cleaner and then we're just going to go ahead and get the dishwasher loaded and do all of the other kitchen type of things like just make sure countertops are cleared off, dishes are put away, make sure the dishwasher is getting loaded with the current dirty dishes and we're just doing all of this while the water boils in the kitchen. So once the mop water is done and like the basic cleaning is done in the kitchen, then I did go ahead and start cleaning out the refrigerator. We have way more food that goes bad than I would hate to admit. But yeah, I try to do this once a week. Just go through all the things in the refrigerator, throw out what's bad, condense a lot of stuff. Just because I really love an organized fridge and that takes work. And by the time I was done organizing this fridge and cleaning it out, we had a completely full trash can. And I am embarrassed to say that. We're on a journey Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning All right, and now we are back at the sink Cleaning out all those dishes from leftovers that were just left in there forever And then I did want to go ahead and give the trash can a good scrub down It had been pretty sure before we even moved since I have gave this trash can the type of cleaning that it needs and yeah our trash can is still clean till this day and I filmed this a while ago probably about a month ago so yeah And the next thing we're going to go ahead and move into the dining room since they're in the same kind of vicinity and we're just going to go ahead and clean the windows and the table so this is like our first really nice table and no matter how much i clean it i still get smudges i've even tried cleaners that are specifically for wood so if you have any suggestions please let me know but i really struggle to get like the smudges off of this table Choose right from wrong, we found a 
So after we're done sweeping and mopping, and I do mop by room, I go room by room that has um, the floors that can be mopped. We go into the master bath and you guys, I'm just realizing this is my first clean with me ever in our new house and I'm so excited and it made me think of that because I was like, wow, what a different order of me cleaning than what I used to do because the master bedroom used to always be the last thing that would get cleaned at our old house because it was at the back of the house. But now that our house is set up completely different, I see it like as two halves. So I clean one half first and the other half next. But yeah, so I don't know, so exciting to share all of these achievements with you guys who have been here for a while and it's so exciting and yeah, I just always constantly wipe down walls and stuff in the bathrooms because like, you know, like the condensation from your showers and stuff can just kind of make the walls look yucky and yeah, just lots of cleaning and then I was... I don't know why it never occurred to me, but I love to watch cleaning TikTok and she was saying like to wipe your toilet from the top down and I just used to use different towels for different parts of the toilet and I don't have to do that because I wipe from the top down so I'm not getting anything dirty that doesn't need to be dirty. Alright you guys, and now that we're done with the master bath, we are actually cleaning the actual bedroom now. And our room is never actually like really dirty. There's just things that, you know, like little knickknacks that have other homes where they need to be and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this day I actually dusted. When I tell you guys that this was a deep clean clean with me, it was. So I was like spot mopping the walls and spot, mop, spot wiping down the walls and dusting and cleaning the TVs and of course vacuuming. I like I said I filmed this about a month ago so my routine has kind of changed I don't have deep cleaning days like this anymore I deep clean certain things on different days of the week now which has really been working for me but yeah I'm glad I filmed this before I changed my whole routine so that way you guys could get a clean with me Alright, and so since our master bedroom is right off of the main living area, um, we're going to go ahead and head out there. We have the entryway, which just usually needs to be swept and mopped, and that little rug needs to be vacuumed. And then my husband will always have some kind of shoes that need to be put up right there. And so yeah, we're just going to sweep, mop, sweep, mop, and vacuum the entryway. And then we'll just do all the things in the actual living room, such as dusting, wiping down the TV, vacuuming. And then I do actually sanitize commonly touched areas the couches and all the things so yeah this is also my like sanitizing day I sanitize all the doorknobs light switches all the things get sanitized wiped down mopped and all that good stuff you were my best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends I'll be in fools drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered, singing
So once the living room is done, we are actually heading to the other side of the house. And so the other half is what I would call it. And we're starting in the boys' bathroom. And we're just gonna do the same thing we do in our bathroom. Um, now that I have changed my routine, I do scrub the shower and the bathtub once a week. I did not do it in this video. Um, just because like that was like a really really big task you know like a task that would be done with like wiping the walls and stuff but now that I have more of like a schedule of certain things get done on certain days the showers and bathtub get scrubbed once a week now and I just realized I saw the date on um, the entertainment center in the living room and this was actually filmed on March 28th if you just needed a reference of how long ago this was filmed Right, and now for the guest room this is another one of those things that it's never really dirty but like the boys will go in here and like roll around on the bed or leave like some straggler toys in here but like obviously you know like dust collects and things like that so I never know if the boys are sneaking in here with snacks or anything so I do vacuum this room as well wipe everything down and like I said I sanitize everything like just knowing my boys and germs and all of that we're getting all of that done And so next is my little workspace slash little getaway. Um, this is where I come when I need a little getaway. What's so amazing to me is like not even this guest room closet looks the same anymore. I have completely cleaned out this guest, this, I'm sorry, this office closet. And so yeah, I'm just doing all the things in here. This was in a really bad position situation. Um, you can see my empties were piling up back there. I finally got that film. So my empties do not look like that anymore. <laughs> Do not judge me y'all. I've been having a hard time adjusting since we have moved. I mean, we're still five months into living in our new house basically. And I just still cannot get a groove. And so just be patient with me you guys, especially with posting and things like that. But yeah, sanitizing all the things, even though like I'm really the only one that comes in here. And then we're just gonna vacuum. all right and next is the boys room and i didn't really have to do much in here honestly because i already had them cleaning before i came in so i just had to fold some blankets and then like sanitize like i said put up some laundry and get like bigger things done that they could not do but other than that my boys are really responsible for cleaning their room i go in there and handle the things that they cannot handle but they are responsible for putting their toys in their place ethan now puts their laundry away it took me a month to teach him how to take, put his laundry away but now that's his chore that's what he's responsible for he washes it he dries it i fold it he puts it away and it's been working out great you guys Okay, and so now that we are done with the boys room, what we're going to go ahead and do is move on to the hallway and just start getting that swept and mopped and getting that rug in the hallway vacuumed. You got my invitation, now the rest is up to you. Kick it rendezvous, make some time for me and you, get you over, treat you right. All right, you guys, so once the hallway is done, we are going into the laundry room. This laundry room was a mess. This was the month that I was really teaching Ethan to be more independent in doing his laundry. And yeah, it just got a mess with all the scent beads and all of that stuff. It's also by the back door into the backyard. So dirt is just constantly getting tracked into this laundry room. And I really struggled to get these in like perfect place because it is kind of small, but you know what? I am blessed because we went from not owning a washer and dryer to the washing and drying room being in the kitchen. And then when we moved, it was in a bathroom. And then when we moved again, it was in a tiny little closet. And now I have a whole little laundry room. So I am blessed and I am thankful. 
Outside of just cleaning up the laundry room, the last thing I did for the day was start the load of towels. And that completes this clean with me, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And all right, you guys, here is the completed house. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are new here, my name is Allie. I upload beauty, Bible, and lifestyle videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And please leave down in the comment box any videos that you guys would like to see next. Bye, guys. Remember, I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. Mwah!